it's me, Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. How are we all today? I'm a little bit early, but that's never a bad thing. And I'm live. Oh, I love it when I see that I'm live. And the front camera's working and it's all good stuff. Oh, so, it's Thursday, everyone. It is Thursday. It's nearly Friday. Mm. <coughs> It's not quite as hot here today. You'll be delighted to hear. I may even manage to not talk about the weather all the time. Although, no, I will. It's going to be 37 degrees here on Monday and Tuesday. Just thought I'd mention it in passing. It's going to be very, very hot. Uh, right, I'm on the wrong screen. Let's have a look at that screen. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Sherry. So, yes. 37 degrees Monday and Tuesday. 32 on Sunday is going to be warm enough. 37 Monday and Tuesday. And the UK doesn't do air conditioning. Just saying. We do windows and umbrellas. We don't do air conditioning. <sighs> That's nice and warm. Yes, it is very warm. It's 23 degrees here today, which is just heaven as far as I'm concerned. Part of the problem with our weather is that we don't get nice dry heat. We get horrible muggy heat and I can't do muggy. Mm. So yeah, we've got a couple of nice days, 23, 25 tomorrow, 28 Saturday, mm, 32, 37, 37. And then we might get rain on Wednesday and 26 degrees before the heat starts building up again towards the end of that week. But there we go. As I say, it wouldn't be the UK if I didn't talk about the weather. So there we are. Uh, right. Well, I seem to have got embossing powder everywhere on my work surface, which is remarkably unpleasant. Have I got a Swiffer? Yes, I have. It's not actually a Swiffer, but it's a it's an imitation Swiffer because it's just I don't know how. Actually, I do know how. I had a I had a week a uh, weekend away with. Uh, my upline and team um, and when I was packing I managed to spill some embossing powder in my trolley um, and I think it's that still coming out of stamp sets. Anywho, I am going to dive under my desk to get the kit out that I'm going to be using and then peel off the, the wrapper. Oh, it's a chilly three degrees at midnight in Sydney. Oh, wow, Leslie, that's that's cold. How are the floods? That's, yeah, how are the floods? And hopefully fingers still crossed for your op. Hoping that's still going to go ahead. But yeah, how's the flooding? Because that's been, well, it's been in our news, so it must be dreadful. Anyway, so while you're thinking about that, so yes, when you join, let me know where you're joining from. Do remember, if you don't already subscribe, to hit that subscribe button. And if you're enjoying what you see, a thumbs up is always appreciated. I should do my little speech. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK, working across the UK, France, Germany, Austria, Germany and the Netherlands. I had to think about that for a while. Uh, and soon, fingers crossed, it will will also be covering Ireland and Belgium. So, yay! Um, that will be good. Haven't got a date for that yet. I keep checking. And the other thing I just want to mention for those of you who are in Europe, and I don't think we've got anyone from Europe just yet. Um, I checked the inventory status report yesterday morning. Uh, I'll come on to yesterday, yesterday in a minute. Um, because we've had a few things that we're waiting for. There's nothing that's on the not orderable list. I mean, seriously. Nothing. Not orderable. Blank, blank, blank. So embellishments, inks, paper, stamps, tools, blank. We've got some low inventory, but not much. I mean, seriously, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items on low inventory, um, which is just ridiculous. 
Just saying. Um, hello, Nikki from Utah. Marlene from Wisconsin. Um, so the floods are receding a little, a little, but terrible for so many people and businesses. I know. Uh, for some, it's the fourth time this year. Oh, no. Hello, Mary from the Netherlands. That's awful, Leslie. That is dreadful. Um, awful, awful. A wee bit chilly. Yes, it's, uh, three degrees is a little bit chilly at midnight. Uh, Deborah's in Georgia and it's warm, 28 degrees. And been raining the last couple of days. So 28 is what we would call hot. Um... But as I say, we don't have the infrastructure for heat waves or for hot weather. Uh, right, I'm going to flip the camera down and hope everything works. Yes, it's working. I love it when it works. Um, so the best remedy kit. As I say, I'm still reeling from the fact that we've got nothing that's not orderable. Ooh, and for those of you who are not in North America... For those of you in North America, I'm really sorry that the soft sea foam pool party card kits are no longer available for celebration. That is really tough. I think it's probably demonstrators using them for classes. I am actually going to be using them for a mini class I'm about to launch on the subject of which this is only for the UK. Obvs. Um, using the Stronger Together Cards, uh, stamp set because as you may know the reason I'm looking a bit like G.I. Jane at the moment is because I had my head shaved to raise money for um, a breast cancer um, charity uh, to mark my 10th anniversary of the di my diagnosis I am still well um, so I'm doing a mini class and part of the mini class is literally three cards um, and I'm using the uh, the the cards so that's two of the cards that I'm making and this is the third um, so it's a mini class and it includes a donation to the charity um, and I'll be launching that officially later this week or early next surgery should go ahead next Thursday as nobody else as long as nobody else gets COVID Ooh, fingers crossed I'm hoping it'll be over and that I'm drugged to the eyeballs you'll be in intensive care I know it's going to be dreadful but it will be a good cause it will make you better in the long run right so best remedy kit uh, is new globally um, and for once we've actually got it in the UK on time so I thought I would order it and have a look at it so literally I'm taking the wrapper off um, I have ordered more than one, but I haven't opened them, I promise you. So, what have we got? We've got a stamp set with what I'm guessing is... Whew, is that a skunk? It's an animal with a t big fluffy tail, anyway. Uh, a starry sky... I said it right! A starry sky ink spot. So that's going to go in my ink spot drawer. And I'm going to get out my full Starry Sky ink pad. And then this is the kit. So let's pop the, back, the box down. She says, throwing it churlishly across the room. And let's have a look and see what's in it. It looks very cute. Um, I think it's probably aimed at making cards for younger people. Yeah, when, wonderful. In which case, Leslie, I think it's everywhere. Because um, it's normally either Oz or, well, South Pacific or Europe that ends up not getting it on time. We're still waiting for, is it the Traveller's Notebook? I think it's the Traveller's Notebook. Um, hasn't arrived yet. So we've got some rather pushed about sequins. Um, some, some iridescent, some yellow. I will confirm colours shortly. Uh, we've got a block which is equivalent to a D block. Uh, again, that's going in a drawer. I um, Every now and again, I have a clear out. Obviously, a change of catalogues is a moment for a clear out, and I donate stuff to charities, um, and those blocks are really great for that. 
because it means I can give them stamp sets knowing that they've got blocks. So we've got, oh, it sounds like our refuse is about to be collected. Um, we've got nine envelopes, which are plain on the inside, but patterned, thank you, um, patterned flaps. The thank you was to my UPS man who's just delivered all the stuff for my team retreat at the end of the month, which is great. Can't wait to get that out. And some of it needs to be out quickly because I've got team in Europe that are attending. It's a virtual retreat. So we've got envelopes with flaps. We've got card bases with bits caught in amongst them. So let's, so we've got three I'm going to guess that that's Granny Apple Green, but I will confirm that. Um, pool Party, again, I'll confirm that. Some stamped and coloured images, die cuts, and then a sort of rainbow. So the colours are, while we're looking at colours, Basic Grey, crush, Crushed Curry, Granny Apple Green, Polished Pink, Pool Party and Starry Sky. So really nice selection of colours, some of which I wouldn't necessarily have put together, always useful to see how colours are put together. Uh, we've got die cuts, three sheets of die cuts with a heart and different labels. So that's pool party, crushed curry, granny apple green. We've got three embossed pieces, which are embossed with a swirl. Um, these are in polished pink, I'm guessing. Lots of labels, including some extras, which is always useful. Um, and these embossed bits which are starry sky but they looked white for a moment and then three sheets with little cuties on they are quite cute I mean cute I would just say um, but this has got a little headache because it's got a little ice pack on its head so, and then we've got the usual um, mini glue dots and in here we've got dimensionals so everything that you need, including the destructions, full colour destructions, and I will be making one of each this afternoon for us. So let us start. I'm going to have a look at what the, the sentiments say as well. So ice cream is the best re remedy for this. Well, that stinks. Um, a little thing of flowers, which is actually what the... Um, my mind's gone again <laughs> it's not a raccoon it's the other thing that I said just now and I can't remember it anymore anyway um, a little birdie told me you were under the weather feel better soon I'm here for you sorry life stinks sometimes even though this stinks dot 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 and there's the ice bag a tub of ice cream and an ice cream cone and a stinky thing. What's this? Skunk. Thank you. Thank you, skunk. The mouse is very cute. It's a shame that the mouse doesn't come as a stamp because mice are everywhere. Whereas, oh, chipmunk. You could have it as a chipmunk. But I think it is meant to be a skunk, hence all the references to that stinks. Um... But yes, so we have this. Right, so the reason my brain is slightly doolally and what I was going to talk about was yesterday is um, I was one of the fortunate less than 1% who earned last year's incentive trip, which also means I was one of the less fortunate um, less than 1% who didn't go on the incentive trip. I'm about to sneeze, I think. <sighs> No, I am about to sneeze, bear with. Oh. <coughs> oh, don't know where that came from. Um, anyway, so the incentive trip was cancelled because of COVID. COVID, that stung. Um, however, it was cancelled for everyone, which is kind of good because the previous year it had gone ahead for North America and not for... The rest of the world and there was a little bit of uh, about that so pool party base starry sky thing and i need a green label um and i will de-pip i'm just saying i will be de-pipping 
Um, anyway, so we were sent a really nice payout instead. It was a one of a once in a lifetime extra special payout. Um, and we were asked to use it to do something that we wouldn't normally do, something special. So almost immediately after I had this news, we had a thing through the letterbox, cold thing through the letterbox. Barbara wouldn't have thought about chipmunk. Yes, you could make him look, look like a chipmunk, couldn't you? Ooh. Gezon hind. Hide. Gezon hind. Gezon hide. I'm guessing that is Dutch for skunk. Mary? Question mark. Um, anyway, so yes, we had this thing through the letterbox that was literally just junk mail. <clears throat> to go on a steam train um, or at least part of it was on a steam train to Plymouth which is about well we're in the middle of the UK and it's down just before you get to the bottom of Cornwall well it's the beginning of Cornwall so it is quite a quite a journey um, so we did some of it with a diesel train and some of it was with, with a steam train and we did what they call Pullman dining which is like the best Oh, thank you, Leslie. Um, oh, it's what someone says. Oh, like Gesundheit. Okay. Right. Thank you. Um, so it's um, it's like the best dining you can have on a train. I mean, it was <laughs> it was silly money, um, but it was for from the incentive trip, so it was perfect. And my husband loves train journeys, so it was just. So we went yesterday, we got on the train at our local train station, actually, it was one of the attractions, it was from our local train station. Uh, so we picked the train up at, oh, just gone half past eight, and we got back about half past nine that evening, yesterday evening, um, and we had a wonderful time on the train. Um, I mean, they looked after us like we were royalty, there was nothing, was too much trouble, we ate uh, well, we actually didn't eat that much, but it was all very rich, um, but delicious. And yeah, it was very, very good. So, right, so I've got my birdie. I've got my starry sky, my uh, granny apple green. I need one of the tags that goes, it's one of the sort of larger of the long tags, long thin rather than square hello barbara german in goods is gesundheit yes it's one of my few german words gesundheit you can see that they're very similar actually um hello donna from california from turlock california so yes this is the best remedy kit which is one of the new kits globally um so I just thought I would show you how to put it together. So we've got a de-pipped piece of card. I need a little birdie told me you were under the weather, which is that one. I'm going to use a D, a D block. I think, I think it might fit on a C, but I'm going to use a D. And I have to say, so we had this lovely trip down to Plymouth um, and then they they needed us off the train for a couple of hours while they sorted it out, ready for us to come back. Plymouth is not the nicest place in the world. It's just a bit... And I think in the 60s it was probably lovely. It got really badly bombed during the war. Um, so this, this is my Starry Sky ink pad. Um, and I've just taken the finish off the stamp, give it a key. Um, but yes, it was badly bombed during the war, so it was rebuilt in the kind of 50s and 60s. And does it need to go one end or the other? No, it's straight in the middle. Um, and I think in the 60s it was probably really nice. It's just a bit run down now. It is a cute kit, isn't it, Marlene? Um, but yeah, it's just a bit run down. So anyway, we went and got an ice cream because we hadn't had enough food obviously um and we sat on plymouth hoe which is where sir francis drake famously said he was going to wait until 
He'd finished his game of bowls before he went and fought the Spanish Armada. Um, so, yeah. And then we had a five-course meal coming back. So going down, we, we, we were greeted with a Bellini, um, which is peach and champagne, peach juice and champagne. So that was our welcome on board. Then we had a bre we had breakfast, which we could either have full English. Oh no, let's start with we had melon and fruit with yogurt and granola. Then we had either a full English or um, sort of eggs Benedict. No, it's be eggs royale, I suppose, because it was although it was scrambled egg rather than poached. Um, it was smoked salmon, muffin, hollandaise sauce, etc. Uh, baked goods, so rolls and stuff, uh, coffee, all that good stuff. So that was breakfast. Um, then, then we had late morning coffee and pastries. Um, and then we got off, walked for a while to wear off some of the stuff. And um, then we got back on for a five course meal in the evening. Right, so they're, they're using glue dots. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my skylight because it's the sun's beginning to move across. Um, they're using glue dots. I'm just going to use my tape runner. Where is it? Here we are, my seal. Um, so, yes, then a five course meal meal coming back after we'd start we'd been welcomed back on board by a glass of champagne um well yes sort of too bad it was not a two-day trip i don't know how to have done it if it was a two-day trip i mean they do do two-day trips um i certainly wouldn't have gone to plymouth because when they overnight um it's not a sleeper so you have to stay in a hotel and that meant staying in Plymouth, which is not the nicest place on the planet. Right, so they don't actually tell you how far away this has to be, so I'm going to go half an inch, which is two squares of my grid paper. Please tell me you all have grid paper. So that's that. This thing goes flat as well. So again, so if your seal is actually at the end of your runner. Now they put it down. I'm sorry, I don't like down. I like up. So I'm going up. But that's not what they say on the recipe. Mm, sort of there, I think. I think it's meant to be sort of in the middle. Looks sort of in the middle ish. I mean, that way. And slightly up from the base. Uh, this has dimensionals. This has dimensionals. I'm currently using up a sheet of dimensionals, so I will continue to do so. Rather than open up the pack that comes in the kit. Interestingly, they don't put any dimensional under his feet, which I think is a bit weird. I think I'll be putting some dimensional under his, certainly under this foot. Otherwise it's waving in the breeze. Can't have a foot waving in the breeze. Have to cut that one down a bit more. Because I quite like it, the idea of a bit of dimensional there too. Oh, you've all gone terribly quiet again. You know how I get worried when you all go quiet. So who has ordered this kit just on spec and who hasn't? Right, so this goes slightly up and to the left. So this goes underneath, so we need a bit of a gap. Then we can have our little chappy with his headache. He's got a headache. No, 
No one ordered it yet. I know you're a bit behind me. Right, and then we need some sequins around him. Where are my sequins? Hello, Pam from Oz. Australia. Can't get into my packet. Right, as I say, these are all a bit jumbled up, so I'm going to unjumble them a little bit or, or just jumble them up a bit more. Right, okay, so we need a large one. Let's have this one that's floating in the wrong place. So that goes up there. Two babbies go there and there. And then another large goes down here. So apart from the placement of the green, the granny apple green, uh, this is very much per the destructions and that is not yet I wanted to wait until settled back in the US that makes sense Deborah uh, not ordered it as I've overspent okay a little I know the Aussie dollar is slightly you get more dollars to the pound as it were it's not like an American dollar uh, it is cute. It is. You're very right. It's cute. You really don't do kits. Really? I mean, I create my own, but I love kits. If you've got a quick card you need to make or you haven't got a card that's appropriate for the person, I keep all of the kits going just in case. You know, mail cards and the like. Ooh, also gives me ideas for layouts and things. But I guess you can get that from the catalogue or the the website right so this one is a granny apple green with 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 um the heart oh and did you see i've hit my first hundred thousand in sales <laughs> um it was confirmed yesterday i mean the timing couldn't have been better i think it was actually late late on tuesday but it was definite it had updated just in time to for my trip yesterday so I was very happy um, I've been counting it down or up depending on how you look at it but yes 100,000 so very happy very very happy obviously that's down to a my team because what got me over the over the line was the team retreat uh, the order for the team retreat which has just arrived Barbara um, just saying so I'm defuzzing and I'm not I'm deep hipping and I'm doing it out of shot. Why? Thank you, Pam. It was one of those things that I hadn't really thought about it. And there's one of the Australian girls, Jessica. Can't remember her surname. Um, and I think it's Jessica. Um, we were then we then started. Thank you, Margaret. Well, you see, you've helped me get there. Um, thank you, Leslie. Ah, yes, Deborah. Um, I know that feeling as well. Thank you, everyone. That's very kind. Right, so we have got, I need to get, even though it stinks, and I'm here for you. So, even though this stinks, I'm here for you. So this is where we're playing on the skunk thing. So I'm here for you. Let's get that with a nice key. Take it off, put it back on because I mushed it up. And this one. Thank you, Catherine. It's, I have to say, I really haven't thought about it. And then I saw that this, this girl was tracking hers. Now, oh, I wonder where I am. Uh, it was one of those moments. I've seen another pip. So, yes, so then I started tracking and it's happened. 
my lovely outline has done a, a thing in our Facebook group um, and it's got sunflowers in the background and it was done especially for me so very happy right I'm here for you goes on one of the little tags if I can get it off and again got to D pip 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 pip, pip. Right, so I'm here for you. I'm upside down, but I'm here for you. That's an annoying little bit of dimensional backing. There we go. And, oh, this is dangerous. Stamping on the coloured thing. Eek! Even though this stinks, dot, dot, dot. <sighs> Stamp cleaner, that's what I'm looking for. It's, I put it away so it's where it should be. Right, okay, so this just sticks on. So again, I'm going to use my seal. It doesn't need to be stuck on as if it's concrete, just a little bit will do. So this thing goes centrally. But, ooh, ooh, sequin. So it needs to go centrally, but coming off top and bottom. That looks about right, although I don't like that white line much. That's better. Didn't, there was a little bit of white just showing. And it, mm. Right, so that's that. Then the skunk, that I now remember is a skunk, uh, gets popped up on dimensionals. love the back end of a dimensional packet on the subject of which oh no that has been can go there Great fun using uh, using up my dimensional bits. That's got a bit of fluff on it. But other than that, right. But they do put them in the kit. Oh no, you're definitely not the only one that cuts off the pips. There is a, there's a whole group of us, Leslie. We ought to be called the D Pippers. Can't stand a pip. Right, so this goes here, so he's sitting kind of at the bottom of that green with his tail going over the edge. And then this gets dimensional at this end, which is great because I've got a little bit left. And adhesive at this end. Comsi comsa. So I'm here for you. Goes about there. I might be tempted to put an extra dimensional under there. It's sagging a bit in my view. I mean, I did only use an off cut, so that's possibly why. So I'm going to sneak in a baby dimensional. Bit of retro dimensional fitting. There we go. Right, okay, so we've got a little flower there. We're using three, which is good for my brain. Oh, 
Well, that's silly. So the picture has it overlapping this thing, but it can't because it's a it's a sticky. So I'll pop it underneath, uh, and then a large and too small. I think this, even though this stinks, needs to be a bit further down than I stamped it, but that's fine. So where does this one go? Oh, there's one there, one there. Those are the flowers. Where does this one go? It's not showing where it goes, but it's showing three. Oh well, I'll pop it in here because then it's filling that space. So this is our these don't want to stick to the thing, they want to stick to my hand. Ugh. They're pinging! I've got pinging sequins. It has been very hot here, which is probably why. Right, so that's the second one. Crystal says, I use a nail buffer for the pips. Yes, that works as well. But having recently done my nail varnish, I don't want to buff off my nail varnish. Where has, there it is. Sound like a music group, the D-Pippers. <laughs> yes, so there we are, that's that one. I'm here for you. So we've just got the one with the moose, mouse, sorry, mouse. So the mouse. Ice cream is the best remedy for this. Ice cream is the best re remedy for everything, frankly. So we want one of the rainbow stripe papers, uh, card bases rather, and no, no, I must have a, an open sheet. There we are. If you could see the state my desk is in, just with a kit. Well, if you could see the state my desk is in, it's frightening. Um, so we need one of those, one of those, we need the square one of these, uh, the pink embossed ice cream is the best remedy and lots of sequins. that anymore. That can go on there. So again, I'm going to give that a key. You could just clean it, stamp it a few times, but I find the back of my hand, something like that works really well. Bought one of each of the kit while they were on sale. Yes, having friends over on Saturday for a barbecue and card making. Brilliant! All the cards are going to look. Oh, brilliant! Oh, that's lovely, Crystal. What a fantastic idea. We've got a new, um, I like the idea of seniors' home, um, a new care home opening up near us. And I emailed them a couple of weeks ago to ask if A, they wanted me to run classes. I mean, me running an in person class. I know, funny. Um, but also, to see whether they wanted some of my um, some of the cards that I make that I have too many cards that I make to send um, so would they like my leftovers as it were haven't heard back seriously haven't heard back which I do find a bit annoying actually haven't even had a thank you for your email because we haven't opened yet we aren't responding to our emails in a timely fashion we'll get back to you you know, it's an automated reply. No, no, nothing. Zip, rien, nada. Which I do find somewhat annoying. Right, it's D-pip time. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Oh, there's one on the inside of its tail. Had to be, really, didn't it? There's one there as well. Oh, and on its ear. See, once you start looking for them, you find them. Come on. Do 
Does anyone not depip? Or is it just me and Leslie? Right, okay, so done the stamping. So this needs to go onto my card. Oh, it's getting warmer. Yeah, it is actually getting warmer. Hello, Suzanne. It is a fun kit. It's the best remedy kit. Um, it's definitely in the cute category. So it's either for kids or it's for people who are in a kid-like state because they're not feeling well or could do with a laugh by someone sending them a kid like card right so this is central this goes on also with adhesive as I say we've got glue dots but I like to keep those for travelling not that I then ever travel and use them but you know um, oh pip 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 Tip warning. So that goes about there. I've seen another pip, but it's all right. We're going to cover it up. Then both of these need dimensionals. What have I got in the way of almost finished dimensional sheets? Ooh, that is a finished dimension. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know how I've managed to end up with so many almost finished dimensional sheets, but I have. They really don't use many dimensionals, do they, on their kits? I'm going to use a bit of side for that. And I do want something diddy to hold that tail up because otherwise that's going to get caught on things. Right, okay. So, ooh, I might have done a boo boo. Uh, no, I might, mm, might have done a bit of a boo boo because this overlaps. It's all right, I haven't squished it down fully. Surgery time. So the reason I'm doing this is that they're, these are gonna overlap and I hadn't spotted that and I put dimensional in the wrong place. So this needs to go on first. So reverting back to the ridiculously hot weather we're about to get for the UK, um, if I had, if I had planned to have my head shaved because of hot weather, I couldn't have timed it better, could I, really? I mean, that wasn't why I had my head shaved, but that was a nice bit of breeze. Um, I could not have planned it better. Oh, it's a bit further down. Right. I'm only popping that there gently for the moment. See, I want the whiskers to go over the top. I also want that to come a bit further across. Okay, right. So I was sort of following the destructions and sort of not. Okay, so that's all on the pink. I'm sure it'll be great fun, Crystal. E you even have the kits that don't require stamping. That's brilliant. Hello, Lorna. Oh, that's wonderful, Crystal, that they offer them to the Meals on Wheels people as well. My mother used to do Meals on Wheels until she realised that she was older than the people she was delivering the Meals on Wheels to bless her I mean she's not with us anymore so it's kind of academic but but 
but yeah, that's when she gave up. Right, so large. Uh, Oh, Leslie, we were, <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday. So my husband is a little older than I am. Nine years. But anyway, um, so he is in his 70s. Um, and we were looking at the other people on the train and thinking that we, <laughs> we're, we're now in the fogey category. We, we're refusing the old bit, but we're definitely in the fogey category. Um, but yeah. You could sort of spot who was on the train when we saw people in Plymouth. We could tell if they were on the train or not by their age, mostly. Leslie, bless her, is um, having her birth... Am I right in thinking, Leslie, that you're having your surgery on your birthday? Which doesn't sound like fun. Hello, Pam. But yes, you're only as you're as young as you feel. Absolutely. So that's the third card. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Testing. One, two. Oop. Three. Hopefully you'll be spoilt in hospital. Oh, it's two days before. Okay. So there are our three cards and they are really cute um if i wasn't feeling well would i like to get one yeah i think i would because i think i would it would make me chortle um so yes i don't think it's just aimed at children I and mean, i think they're perfect for children so there's something weird going on with my mat um i think they're perfect for children but i don't think they're exclusively for children so there we are and you get to make nine. I was going to go nine, but it's nine. Um, three of each. Perfect. And you get left with the stamp set with the skunk. I am remembering skunk, uh, which could be turned into a chipmunk very easily. But then, of course, the puns wouldn't work. But you'd still be able to put the ice, the ice cream is the best remedy for this. Um, but yeah there you go so you like the mice mouse one best i think the mouse one is very cute it's very pink if you like pe polished pink you will definitely like the pink one i like the um the card base as well that's i do like diagonal stripes um they are really nice aren't they deborah really really sweet really gorgeous uh, i think they're great for adults who aren't seriously ill absolutely i agree with you crystal Cards for everyone. Yep, I think we all agree. So I'm going to fit the camera back up. Um, I might, might very carefully just pop these back into their packet as I seem to be able to move them around quite successfully otherwise. So that's those. So let me pop the camera back up. Bum, bum, bum. There we are. There I am. I'm here. I'm here. Still here. So... Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, do remember to give it a thumbs up. Um, as with all the card kits, do remember that they are while stocks last um, and they may or may not ever come back into uh, into stock once they've gone. Um, so if you like them, get them while you can. Um, and they are great for people who don't normally craft. Thank you, Deborah. Um, I'm not quite sure I'd call it a class, given that I was following the instructions. Not necessarily terribly well, um, but thank you. I take, I will take it. Um, so I will be, thank you, Margaret. Um, I will be back on um, Tuesday. I need to just check. Well, now. So Monday and Tuesday are going to be 37 degrees here. Um, Hubby and I have decided that we might well oh well, thank you crystal uh we might go down to the coast on one of those days so i will be doing a live on either monday different or tuesday haven't decided which yet but just so you know 
definitely bedtime for you Leslie you need to get your strength up ready for next week um, so I will let you know when what's happening but we are planning to go to the coast um, and the schools haven't broken up yet so it should be reasonably adult uh, it's still going to be hot where we're planning to go but it's going to have the sea that we can go and swim in um, so I will let you know um, and then in August I need to move one of my Thursday lives so yeah hello Joanne we're about to finish but thank you for joining uh, it will be available on replay obviously um, to as soon as we finish so thank you very much indeed have a fantastic rest of your day night whichever uh, and I will see you again very soon I'll be back on obviously on Saturday for simple stamping Saturday and on Tuesday that was that's recorded then and recorded on Tuesday for my last adhesive top tips so we will um, those will be there anyway so my brain is now going so it must be time for me to go so thank you very much indeed for watching thumbs up always appreciated if you're watching on replay do remember you can leave a comment below the description bar and I will get back to you thank you very much everyone bye bye